Hey guys, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new product. Um, this is a gel product that I saw on Instagram that Gailene had sent me. And the second she sent it to me, I knew I had to get some and play with it because it looked so neat. So thank you, Gailene, for making me spend my money. <laughs> um, so this stuff is either called, I've seen it called a couple things. I've seen it called solid gel or pudding gel. Um, and it's really neat. So I've seen it from this company and I also looked back and this has been out for a while. This isn't anything like brand new, um, but I think Model 1s has a solid gel as well. So I'm going to play with this stuff today and show you what I got. Um, but first things first, we have to take care of this terrible situation going on on my thingies. So both hands are looking quite... A mess they both need a fill and yeah so I am going to do my nails give them a fill in with the Madam Glam a rubber base and this is the color I've been using I really really like it. it's a nice soft pink um, and then we're gonna put this gel maybe do a design or something but yeah I'm gonna play with it and see what we think about it so if you just want to see the unboxing go ahead and skip ahead um, but if you want to see me do my nails I'm going to do that now and I'm going to film it for you so enjoy Okay, so I'm gonna spare you watching me doing my right hand with my left hand because it's a hot mess um, but I am just gonna soak off what I have on it's the same thing I have on this hand only the edges are lifting really really bad because this is my dominant hand it's the hand I use all the time and I tend to like when I'm doing stamping and whatnot I'll grab my cotton ball and acetone and I just I'm not too careful <laughs> <laughs> don't put the gloves on and take care of them like I should to keep them on so they do tend to melt at the tip and lift and so I'm going to just completely remove this hand this hand however is going to get a fill so it looks like I do have the um, Malaysia on the four fingers but on the thumb I think I put was it India or Indonesia I can't remember the name of the darker pink one but that was on the thumb I'm kind of thinking I might go ahead and fill them all with the darker pink one just because that's what I did on the thumb um, yeah but they're doing really well this is um, the third time I filled these in with the Madame Glam rubber base so yeah they're doing really well um, so at this point I would take and shape up my free edge and once I get that looking the way I want it um, I will push back my cuticles and I'm gonna do the prep 
um, with my sanding band and I use my sanding band to get into all of these little side areas there. And yeah, so let's continue on. So they're prepped and ready and it is India. That is the color we're going to use. And I just take some isopropyl alcohol on a brush and brush off all that dust. And then we're just going to go straight in with the base coat as our structured manicure. Um, gel overlay whatever you want to call it you can use this just as a base nice and thin and use that for your gel polish base or you can build it up and use it as a structured manicure and then gel polish over top of it or since they are so beautifully colored you could just leave them on their own so we are going to do this no need for any kind of primer or anything if you are a super bad lifter and you want to use primer you absolutely can it's not going to hurt but this is your base. You don't have to put a clear base down first. This is the base. And then, yep, that's it. One product, all you need. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna do one finger at a time. The thumb isn't as grown out as the other ones because I just did that for a video recently. And it won't need as much, but 
yeah I just do one finger at a time and cure that and then move on to the next finger So the fill is all done. I'm just going to wipe off the sticky layer, layer with some alcohol and then file any spots that might need filing. And yeah, I might just buff over the top of them real good. Like so. And then we'll get to the unboxing. So I'm just going to do this real quick off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, the nails are done. I just did a thin base coat on this hand. I may just leave it like that. And then I wiped off the tacky layer. This one has its fill and it's ready to go. So let's get to the good stuff, the box. So I ordered a trio set of nude colors, a black or white, I can't remember which one, and then a shimmery one. So I ordered five colors all together. Um, they weren't super expensive, but they weren't like, super cheap either and I think the model ones may be cheaper um, but I'm not 100% sure on that so let's just see what's in the box here so there's a little insert here about their poly extension gel kit um, this is not what we ordered but there's a little information packet about that they included some stickers these are some like guide stickers to do like zigzags Frenches other random shapes um, there is a card to get a free manicure kit it looks like if you leave them a five-star review um, I will do that if I feel like they deserve five stars I'm not just going to do it for the free kit and a little thank you card 25% um, off coupon that's nice what is this how to remove Okay, this gives you instructions on the gel, how to remove it. And then this gives you instructions on application. Prep, apply a thin layer of base coat. So yes, it says you need some kind of a base coat down first. And then um, apply the gel. Gently brush it on your nails starting from the free edge and cure for 60 seconds. Okay, that's important information. It says enjoy a 20 plus day long lasting manicure. Um, I didn't look super closely at their site. I'm sure they probably do, but I didn't get like a base of this brand. Um, so I, I'm sure any base should be good. Um, and then they also included some stickers. So I did not order any stickers, but they put these in there. These are really cute. And then some little teddy bears. And also in the box are some little swatch things. Um, so you can put the colors on these cute little hearts. And then they've got little glue tabs. So you can, I guess, stick them on the pots or whatever you want to do with them. And then they also gave me two brushes. So like I said, I didn't order anything except for the gels. But they sent two brushes. So these are a size number six Kalinsky 
very nice brush get this off super super soft very very nice brush I actually don't think I own an actual Kalinske brush so this is a first for me and that's it that's all the extras so now let's get into the gels so they call it solid gel I heard it called pudding gel I've heard it called a few things so I did open a couple of these because you know I just can't wait but I'm going to show you these are so nicely packaged and I got these I want to also mention I got these on a very hot day it's been very hot lately and they were in my mailbox in the box like this on its side so all the gels were on their side so I just want to make a note of that um, and then which one have I not opened I haven't opened the black so I'm gonna show you that they are sealed really really well but there's also a tab let me grab my tweezers here once you grab a hold of that tab they're super easy to open which I appreciate so remember ladies to always have some tweezers your nails are jewels not tools let's not use them to peel things stickers or anything okay now we got that tab up and then it peels right off so easy oh I love that and then this is really sticky I'm not sure why but that is the gel and guess what it's not going anywhere you can just leave it like that it will not move I promise so yeah um, it's very neat <laughs> so there's the black I wanted to get that to see how opaque it was okay so in addition to the black I ordered a shimmery one which I already opened because I wanted to see it very pretty I think that is going to look gorgeous over white I don't think it's gonna be super opaque but more of a pearlescence and then these are the three nude colors that came in the nude kit one three four and the numbers are this one are 14 and 19 so I know I opened one of these but not the other two so not this one let's open it up and see what color it's got a nice little swatch on the lid but I don't know how close to accurate that would be you know it's fairly close yeah that looks really good okay that's number four this is the one I opened and you can see where I scooped in with the brush all those little scoop marks are still there they will not move they're not going anywhere the gel is not going anywhere it's crazy it de it defies <laughs> physics of gel um, what's so neat about this is that like it's so smooth when it goes on the brush and it's like butter but it doesn't move I don't understand it very neat I kind of want to stick like my stir stick in there and just like stir the whole pot and see if agitating it thins it and makes it more or less viscous I guess <laughs> I don't know what it would do okay ooh, that one's pretty so these are the three nude colors we've got like a really light nude a pinker toned nude and more of a like dark tan kind of nude so what should we do with these let's swatch them I think and see how they look and how opaque they are okay so I'm going to use the brush that they supplied me with because it's a really nice brush and then we're going to do number one first this is the one I played with just a little bit see how it's a little bit stringy um but not like spider gel stringy I think I'm gonna take one of these here in a second and I'm going to stir the whole thing up and just see what it does okay so I got it on my brush here a little dollop and I these look to be fairly nicely pigmented I would say just like any gel polish don't 
I think I got too much. Don't make it too thick. You want a nice thin layer. It's better to do two coats in thin layers than one thick layer. But I'm kind of just curious about, you know, how well they self-level. Are they going to be streaky? All that. So that is the first one. Definitely a little bit lighter than it looks in the pot. Of course, it's thinner. So we're going to cure that for 60 seconds and then do a second coat. Swatch, sit down. You're making too much noise. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, so that is cured. I just want to see. Okay, so they don't really leave a sticky layer. It's a little sticky, little, but not like an inhibition layer. Are they supposed to cure tack free? I do not know. I do not know. But it did. So, okay, second layer. So I can see maybe some issues with these with shadowing. You really have to have a super soft brush and a light touch. But I think I'm still gonna get some shadowing with these anyways. And you wouldn't be able to do this with a regular finger. So uh, it's gonna be, it's hard not to want to float these. But they're not like builder gels. They are like polishes. So. It does seem to self-level pretty well. But yeah, I'm going to get shadowing it looks like. That's two coats. I'm going to go ahead and cure that. So let's go ahead and just fast forward through these next couple here and just swatch them and see what color they're going to be. Okay, so we've got this beautiful shimmer. So this would be beautiful over white. It would be absolutely gorgeous over all of these nudes as well. 
just to give them a little shimmer. Um, on its own, it's not going to be 100% opaque. I don't believe it's supposed to be, but it's so pretty. I love that. And this black is super, super pigmented. That was really nice. So I haven't put any top coat on these. They dry tack free or cure tack free. Um, and they're really shiny. I would, if I were wearing this as just a gel polish, I would do my base and then two coats of color and then still top coat just because it's going to protect that color and shine. Um, so the nude ones are a little bit patchy. <laughs> um, you can see up at the top here where they're a, they're a bit shadowy and that's hard to get away from unless they're super, super, super opaque. These aren't the most opaque gels I've ever used. They're not terrible by any means, but they are just a little tricky. Um, the black was super easy. It was extremely pigmented and I had no streaky issues, no patchy spots, nothing at all amazing. Um, and it's so smooth. I actually switched my shimmer brush. I used the second brush they gave me because the black one stained so bad. I didn't want it to transfer. Um, yeah, but these are really fun. How neat are these gels? I'm going to stir one. Which one of these are we going to run? Because <laughs> I just want to see what it does. Um, let's do this one. This one's the most sheer out of the three. I just want to play around with it. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so satisfying. Look at that. I feel like I could just get the whole thing out like a can of... Uh, I was going to say jelly, but um, cranberry sauce. <laughs> Cranberries for Thanksgiving. Okay. Oh, look. It's like pulling away from the side. Oh, how interesting. I feel like I could have just got the whole thing to come out. All right. So I'm just going to stir, stir, stir. Swatchy poo. So the doggy's here with me late at night as I film keeping me company but he's um losing his patience right now so he said mom hurry up <laughs> i want to go for a walk so swatch um it's gonna have some bubbles in it from the stirring obviously i'm curious to come back at this later and see if um, it self levels back down. But you can see it's starting to come out of the pot a little bit as I tilt it. So agitating it definitely changes the viscosity of it a little bit. And it reminds me of Light Elegance's buttercreams in a way. Um, I haven't used any of the buttercreams, but just from what I've seen in videos, it gives me a little bit of buttercream vibes. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep an eye on that and see what that does. Because I feel like you're not going to need to stir these. The colors aren't going to separate the way they just stick in the pot like that and don't move. But, oh yeah, now it's really moving. After agitating it. It definitely thins it out some. I wonder if that would make it easier to swatch now that it's been stirred and um, it's a little, little bit softer. Let's let's just take a peeky here. Okay, definitely thinner. I'll do two coats and see if I get any kind of shadowing like I did the first time. And I was trying to be super, super careful with these. Oh my gosh, I just flopped it upside down in my light. No! <laughs> okay, let me fix that. Like I was saying, I'm, I was trying to be super careful with the initial swatches um, because <clears throat> of the shadowing. I wanted to get the application on there as best I could. So I did my very best. All right, now let me put that in the light. Okay, second coat. Oh, 
It is a little bit easier to work with, for sure. Especially the way it's um, kind of sheer. Um, that is a little bit less patchy. So, a little bit easier to work with by stirring it up. But the cons of doing that is you're going to get a bunch of bubbles in it. So, yeah. So, I was going to do these on my nails, but I have no idea what to do. What should I do? Um, I think maybe we're going to have to come back for a part two and figure that out. Because I just, I don't know. I get to this point every time and I have no idea what to put on my nails. <laughs> I could just put this really gorgeous pearly color on over top of this and that would be beautiful. I mean, come on, how pretty is that? Oh, that is so pretty. This is one of those colors. It's like, oh my gosh, what color do you have on your nails? And then you have to explain, well, there's a gel overlay and then it's kind of pink and then there's a shimmer color over it. <laughs> but gorgeous, is that not pretty? I think that's what I might do just to put something on. Okay, so yeah, less patchy than the first time for sure. Made it a little bit easier to work with. It seems less opaque or um, lighter in color. Strange. I'm going to put this over the nude and see what that looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is just gonna take any color and just give it a beautiful pearlescent shimmer how fun Ooh, pretty you can see the difference of it on there and there very nice okay so I did put it on both hands and you can tell um, how this one is a bit more sheer it just gives a nice beautiful pearlescence and this one had a bit more color underneath it changes the look a little bit but still both beautiful so um, I know I'm gonna get people asking me in the comments on my next video what's on your nails this is what's on my nails so I will put the little eye in the top right corner that you just click on on my next video that I'll bring you to this video to show you what's on my nails so um, yeah I think that's it guys so as far as giving them a five-star review um, to get like a free manicure kit like the little coupon thing was um, I would have to play with this more to know how much I like it. So far, this will certainly not replace any of my Madame Glam gel polishes. Um, they're not quite as opaque. However, I do see me using this a lot as a topper over colors. So you may see that over some Madame Glams. And the black is really nice and opaque. I'll probably play with that some more as like maybe an art gel and see how it does for like line work. Um, but I like that it cures tack free and it um, didn't have any issues curing at all, no wrinkles or anything like that. So that's nice. Um, I did notice on the Madame Glam gel paints, um, especially with the black, I was trying to do some dots with it and they were just a slight bit too thick and they did not cure at all. I cured them for like five minutes and it just wouldn't cure all the way through. So it was a little bit hard to do the little dots I wanted to do, but I think I could probably do that with this one. It seems to cure a little better and it's still super opaque. So yeah, keep that in mind. So yeah, that's it guys. Tell me what you think about these. Have you tried any product like this before? Give me any tips, tricks, and information that you might have in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I should have another one coming out pretty soon. Uh, we have a new Madame Glam collection coming out for September, so look forward to that. I'll see you guys then. Bye!